Thank you for joining us today. I'm Jeremy Werner, the general manager of the storage business unit. And I'm very pleased and honored to be joined by my special guest, Mr. K.S. Pua, the CEO of Faison. Thanks for inviting me to this chat, Jeremy. Thanks, yeah, K.S. Thanks. thanks for being here. Yeah. Well, Faison and Micron have worked together extensively for many years as two technology leaders. And during that time, we have delivered many products to market Today, we're going to talk about what some of the keys to our success have been, how we've been able to collaborate so successfully in the client and consumer SSD space. So let's jump right into it. Yeah. Cool. Micron has been the NAND technology leader for a number of years, bringing the highest layer count to market, the highest performance, and the fastest I.O. speed. And we use that NAND leadership to bring SSDs to market which deliver outstanding user experiences for our customers. Faison's been a critical part of our success in that area. Tell us a little bit more about Faison. Uh, Faison, we have been uh, 24 years wow. and we are the pioneer in the NAND controller industry. Uh, we are mainly in the, uh, uh, we, we provide the full range of our storage. We are using uh, storage products going to the uh, mobile, PC, enterprise, automotive, gaming, and now we are bringing our products to the space. Outer space? To the space, outer space, <laughs> yes. And the products are already on the, on the mass. Wow. Um, what differ Faison with our competitors? I think we have uh, two key factors. One is our product innovative, and second is our business model. Mm. Faison, we always try to make ourselves as a first to the market in our development. The reason is uh, we are capable because of our, uh, we own all the IP by ourselves. In talking about business model, uh, we are providing the uh, one-stop shopping to our customers. Mm. We are helping customers customize the solution with our uh, in-house IP, firmware integration, uh, hardware circuit, uh, circuit integration, and also the full turnkey of our products. Wow. So this is helping us to have a full service to our customers. Now, Faison has vast storage capabilities, and I speak from personal experience in that also Faison is an excellent collaborator. And there's a number of shared corporate values that we have that I think drive some of our mutual success. So for instance, we both believe in a customer-centric approach and a desire to push the boundaries of innovation to our inclusive and diverse workplace. We have a commitment to sustainability and the environment and the communities that we operate in. Now, you've worked with so many different companies in this space. What is unique from your perspective about working with Micron versus some of the other experiences you've had? The key success of our partnership, uh, what I can uh, learn is from Micron Executive top down embracing the both company members to work close as a one team. One team. So between two engineers, two parties engineers, they are working very transparent. They share their know-how, knowledge together, and they fix the program together. Mm -hmm. I also learned that when they have uh, bugs happen, right? Each party not pointing finger to the other one side, but they try to fix together. Give example. We are cooperating in the most advanced uh, 232 layer in the world. This, we have a deep discussion, deep uh, cooperation between the team members with the open-minded. Right. Yeah. So take example, today's uh, E25 controllers go through our Imagine Plus program. We made these products to the market on time with the best performance. I think this is uh, to show as a one team's value. So again, I want to appreciate my appreciation to the Micron executive to support and trust Faison to bring the two party work as a one team members. So over the last year and a half, it's no secret the memory market has been through a pretty severe downturn. Yes. And we're just now starting to see the recovery in the memory market. Mm. But through that time, Faison has been able to continue to grow. And actually, recently you announced a 14-month high in terms of revenues. Yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about 
how you managed to buck the trend, and what happened to your R&D investment during that down cycle. Yeah, in year 2018, Pfizer, we have like 1,500 headcount with less than the 1,000 engineers. But at this uh, pandemic, uh, everybody know uh, the uh, semicon company taking a good profit mm -hmm. in the business, right? So Fison, we convinced our board members to expanding our R&D activity. Wow. Today we have like 4,000 headcount mm -hmm. with 3,000 plus engineers. So you know how heavy our <laughs> R&D investment. So when we enjoy the good profitability, we committed to our ecosystem partner, we invest. Uh, not only in their system, but mainly in a lot of IPs to make ourselves ready and dealing the product in the market. Uh, Fison, we've been suffer, or we may experience uh, in in these uh, two decades the uh, big cycle up and down. Right? We also realize um, finance is important. We we cover good finance, our our financial uh, uh, status. In slow season, we keep hiring, we keep investing. When market bounce back like today, we have uh, all the products ready. And mainly, I, again, I appreciate the cooperation between Pfizer and Micron. We bring the best products to the market. When market coming back, I believe the customer they appreciate what our investment in this industry. So I think we are happy to work very close with the Micron. Yeah, it really requires bold leadership to continue to invest through a downturn. And that's why we so greatly appreciate working with you and Faison. Yeah. The reality is Faison never stopped believing in the Micron portfolio and never stopped investing in our collective future. Yes. And although this last year and a half has been a very challenging time for Micron, and in fact, we have had to cut back on some of our CapEx and the pace at which we introduce new NAND technology nodes. Yeah. I'm really proud of what Micron's been able to do during that time, bringing to market the greatest percentage of higher layer count NAND mm. in the entire industry, including our industry-leading 232 layer NAND, as well as collectively bringing forth leadership products in client and consumer SSD, such as the T700, yes which has been very well recognized as the leading Gen 5 NVMe SSD in the market. And now we're bringing forward together some new products. For instance, the T500 that we recently announced, which is a high-end Gen 4 NVMe SSD. Yes. And now the 3500, which uses your E25 controller, yes. which I expect to be the leading performance NVMe client SSD in the market. Yeah. So speaking about dealership, uh, I observed that Micron recently expanding more talk in the client SSD, delaying less in the performance, but more in the user experience. Mm. So why making a Micron change the focus? Sure. So. You know, of course, speeds and feeds are important when it comes to bandwidth and IOPS. It's something that we need to deliver on, but that's really just the entry of admission. Now, synthetic benchmarking is not fully representative of the user experience. So when we look at a holistic user experience, what we want to deliver is that, whether it's the performance, but also battery life and power consumption, responsiveness, reliability, and any other kind of real world experience that our customers are going to see. So we spend a meaningful amount of time now validating, testing, and developing our capabilities in terms of whether it's uh, productivity, gaming, which is huge. Everyone yes. needs the latest, greatest SSD for gaming whether it's scientific computing. These are all areas that now we're capturing real life workloads and jointly optimizing our products to deliver outstanding user experience, which is not always fully captured in the synthetic benchmarks. And so that's what this new focus that you see in terms of our leadership and the focus on user experience. We talked a little bit about the past mm -hmm. working together. We yeah. talked about the present with the great products we've been bringing to market. Yes. As you go out there, you get to talk to so many 
CEOs and leaders around the industry. What are you hearing from them that is driving your future development? And what are you, as the leader of Faison, going to focus your future products around? Our products mainly use in the portable device. So most customer, the what they asking is about power efficiency. Mm -hmm. So that's why we are moving the new design to the most advanced technology, like seven nanometer and going to six nanometer. Mm -hmm. But of course, this is a heavy investment. Second, I think they also care a lot about performance in their user experience, just you mentioned before. Right. Okay. Uh, the products, of course, in performance in number is good, but the user experience can help to bring the uh, much better ASP to the market. The third is uh, since the flesh itself going to much you know, high layer, uh, reliability and the quality of the design. So next is uh, talking about service. We need to have a uh, lot of on-site service to our customers. And most or less is about cost. Mm. How can we bring the design, not only in chase, but the total solution, much lower the cost to match what the customer asks? We discussed earlier how Pfizer Microns, we are collaborating several SSD control generations. So from Microns' perspective, why our collaboration so success? Well, okay, it starts with what you already mentioned, the one team mentality. I think that any time you have two partners who are completely invested in each other's success, that that breeds success and the mentality of the team to work together. But on top of that, a few other areas. So shared vision. Both of us believe in user experience. Both of us want to deliver outstanding products to our customers. Innovation is a big one. We're working together to bring forth new technologies like direct storage, which is used in loading scenes in the latest games. And the third area that I think is really critical is complementary expertise. So I look at what Micron brings to the table, I look at what Fizon brings to the table. We bring our NAND technology, the product definition, our validation and quality experience, and the ability to bring uh, algorithms into products to enable the acceleration of new NAND into products. And Fizon brings the world-leading client and consumer SSD controllers, the firmware development, you know, as you mentioned, full turnkey model into the products. And together, we're able to build products that no one else can build in the market. Yes, yes. So it's just a fantastic partnership. So thank you so much, Gaius. Thank you, too. Yeah. Uh, some of the things we talked about today that really stick out for me are Fizon's investment in R&D yeah. and 4,000 engineers developing SSD yes. products. That's probably uh, the largest team in the world, I'd guess. For sure, yes. Um, so, so many interesting things we discussed today and I really appreciate your heavy investment into R&D and the success that we've had together, especially as we bring our new 3,500 SSD to market so very exciting times in our partnership. Hey, I want to have a big congratulation to you and your team to have uh, this uh, 3500 launch. I believe this is show the uh, partnership. Uh, we work with uh, one team and more projects I believe coming soon. Everything can go very, very smooth. Big congratulations. Well, thank you for being here today with us. And to our entire audience, thank you for tuning in to another great conversation with Micron and one of our key leading partners at Fizon.